Rob Beckett on the Magic Sponge. I've got Ian Smith with me. I don't know what episode this is, and I'm joined. Four, three, two. Was that two? We don't know. No. Well, that's Kevin. That's Kev Gallon. You can hear there. You are right, Kev. I'm back. He's We're back. not. We got no Bullard this week. Um, I think we just should just jib him off forever because he Good is idea, the that. laziest, <laughs> most bone idle, boring, boring, <laughs> shit clove wearing ex footballer. Ever. <laughs> Ever. That's uh, Kev Gallon's uh, pint of coffee that's just come in. <laughs> there you go, mate. Just to get me sweating a little bit um, more in the sauna. <laughs> Bullard just keeps cancelling on us. I think is he re- fi- what is he fishing? Do you know today? what? He's fishing. He don't. He can't do nothing on a Wednesday because he's fishing. Well, he must have heard about the studio. He got soccer AM. <laughs> there ain't enough room. He got soccer. <laughs> it's a tight studio. He got soccer AM and he's just jibbed us off. With the big boys now. Well, we, um, our guest today, you're going to be standing for Bullard. Thank you. Kev Gunn, hopefully you last longer than you did in game for Grenfell. <laughs> um, and uh, he's got... That was half an hour. I did half an hour. That was good for me. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, all right. We've got Kevin Chipper Watson. That's the one, yeah. So do you want to be called Kevin Chipper or... Watto. Chip, Watto. Watto. Yeah. Watto. Any, any, anything's what fine. dog? The what's it? I'm sure, Ga- I'm sure Gallon's got some other names. So you me. know each other. Let's yes, talk. How yeah. do you two know? You, well, you used to play for Tottenham. Yeah. And then you moved. You went Swindon. Swindon. And then where else did you go? Swindon to Reading. To Reading. In, double uh, Swindon, Colchester, <laughs> Colchester, and then finished. Rotherham, uh, Matt, was you? Oh, Rotherham, yeah. Rotherham. I forgot more about his career. There's, only two, pro- there's only two promotions there as well. <laughs> two promotions, <laughs> Rotherham. Two, forgot yeah. them. I've always said two Peronis. I've always said two Peronis. <laughs> You're still recovering from the weekend, Ken. Oh, okay. um, and then you was a coach at Luton, and that's how you two knew each other. Yeah. yeah well, I, I sort of knew of what I, we played against each other, but. When I was a kid playing yeah. for QPR youth team, we used to play against Tottenham youth team. Yeah. And I used to remember, who is this flash geezer? Was you flash? <laughs> giving it, chipping, giving it flicks and all that. I Typical Tottenham youth team. Really? In, oh, back in a... the day, it was like, this lot mob yeah. are the flashes so, to... in the South East Counties to... by a country mile. To be fair, having themselves. You, had a, you had a decent team. You yeah. always give us quite a decent game. There were some <laughs> poor teams in that league, yeah, but, but you, you did, you did you give us a decent best. game. Yeah. Was, yeah. Well, what, what was I was flash? two years younger. No, not me, mate. Way. There was... You were two... I was I was a school you're boy. Two years, you're two years younger than him. Yeah. <laughs> so how old are you, Kev? You're uh, forty. You're forty. So I was three years then. So you're 40. <laughs> you look. You do too. Shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm looking straight at you. <laughs> Them glasses ain't working again. It doesn't matter. We're on audio. Oh, okay. No one can see nothing, Kev. Well, he's so. wearing dodgy glasses. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. That leaves leaves next to me, Kev. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You can't take a piss out of someone's glasses if they can't see the glasses. I can. Well, you can, but it's pointless. I can describe them what, uh, like a granddad. Kev, why have you got a boner? <laughs> because I love why you. Why have you got a massive, you. Got a massive lob on? No, that's not a lob on. That's just normal. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened to you in the charity game? Game for Grandpa? Um, I'm lucky it on. to get a boner I after saw that. what looked like... <laughs> <laughs> you got I ain't joking. It was funny as well because the all the what the QPR kit is like all like white and blue hoops. Yeah, but, but I was skip. in their way once. They Don't before you did make it like <laughs> white and blue hoops. They're proper skin. They're all the they're, they're all they're the like skin type. Like under armor. Under armor. Like, oh, no, the no skin. You know, they, didn't, they didn't get your large one, no? <laughs> the extra large. Is, the, an extra large is, the is the like a medium. I bet you searching around before the game. Has anyone got extra large? I tell you what I was doing. I just went and stood next to Merce. We look good. They look- kept away from Mo Farah. Oh, so- <laughs> <laughs> but all the ex pros they look like um they look like um Tesco value jam roly polies. <laughs> they were all just Can I bulging just say, out of these tiny t shirts. Um, I just like to say Rob has been in the gym and he looks like an Adonis now. Thanks, Kev. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm no Adonis, but the, it was no, funny understatement. these pros, because it was the QPR, um, was it Les Ferdinand versus... Shearer. Shearer in the game for raising money for the Grenfell Tower uh, fire. And um, loads of... Good pros. Was it good fun? Did you... Yeah, it was great fun. Yeah. Yeah, what was the Until Friday we were... night like before the, the game? Friday night, I had to go to a wedding reception. Okay. And I got a bit carried away. Oh, right, yeah. As what I happened? usually do. I just drank too much. How much did you drink? I think about 10, 12 pints. It's a good pre match. <laughs> that was before 7 o'clock, wasn't it? Yeah. And then you and before I got to the reception. And then how long did you play for half hour? Well, I was doing really well, as you, you know, and don't give it that one. And then I did you got score? hurt. I got hurt. You got hurt. What happened? Uh, I shot, and <laughs> my mate, Mark Bertram, who's on the other team, decided to do a flying headbutt into my leg, standing what? foot. And as I landed, I cracked my pubis bone. <laughs> 
Where is your pubis bun? I'm having well, a guess. Get it out. Where is get it? Get it out. Get Come it out. on, get him. Shut your pubis bun. There you go. So where, where, is, where is your pubis bun? Uh, where your pubes are. So, so someone's just, headbutted oh, you in there? the dick? No, they didn't know they headbutted my leg. And then and as I went down my stand, I don't know, I landed. So how'd you, did you I have landed. a cast on? No. How'd you fix your pubis? That's the problem, you can't. It's so just a, a waiting game. And ice. it's been six, seven weeks, ice. And the funny thing, right, so I went into <laughs> the... I went in. Can I? Yeah. Never could before. <laughs> <laughs> What's so the can't now. But is it too painful to have sex? Uh, nah, it's all right now. Is it? A couple of uh, But you have to just lay there. Well, the usual. Just like <laughs> <laughs> I remember shooting, and I, I actually hit a good shot, and all I heard was the crowd go, "Ooh!" Or and I thought, because I hit it, and I thought this is going in. And Shay Given supposedly pulled off a weldy, <laughs> and as I'm on the floor, like I'm actually, I felt something crack there. My Paul Merson comes up to me and goes, "Get up, Gallon," and I went. No, mate, I'm finished. And I went, did I score? He went, no. I went, right, that's it. I'm walking off. Um, and I literally walked off, went into the treatment room. The physio of QPR got me on the bed. And uh, and he's like, I couldn't move, honestly. I, it, the pain was so bad Like when I was lying down and getting up. I couldn't get out, of, get off the bed. It was oh. so sore, right? So he's pulled me up. He's put ice down my me, um, me jock strap. So I'm walking around with ice pack. As I get into the tunnel, my mate's there with Kate Moss. <laughs> Who's your mate? Uh, some dodgy bloke. Who's your mate? <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, all right, Kev. I went, no. And he goes, uh, uh, here's Kate Moss. And I went, <laughs> so hello, Kate. Kate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I went, Kate, is he getting smaller? It's getting smaller even more now. With the ice <laughs> just pisses up. Like, went, See ya. And I just walked off. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, did you have to you blew, blew your chance of there it, was no, you? There was no, there was no point. Do you reckon if your pubis bone had broken, you and Kate Moss could be a thing now? Uh, could be. Imagine yeah. that, Kate Moss if stepping out with Kev Gallen at Milan Fashion Week. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> with um, you on toe, you probably stabbed me in the back. And I'll, get her. I'll, I'm not. I've, I'm That's stabbed your, anyone in the back. Yeah, not for the last. Month. No, there's no one left at Absolute Radio. <laughs> They've all gone. You, Perry Groves, Ian Wright's gone now. Russ Williams. Russ Williams gone. is gone. Gone. Who else? You're the producer. Jeff Lloyd's gone. No. Yeah. Oh, Proud me. of yourself? Right, write the theme tune, sing the theme <laughs> tune. Um, right, um, we're going to be chat to our guest. Um, originally, you, you stepped in last minute because mm. uh, we got let down by Steve Parrish twice yeah. in a row now. The C- Crystal Palace director or owner, chairman. 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 He's waiting for a couple of more wins, isn't he? Oh, he mate, yeah. He, we were supposed to um, interview him the day Frank De Boer got sacked. <laughs> yeah. And I went, Joe, I can't see that happening, really. Oh. And, then, uh, and then they beat <laughs> Chelsea. Would have been a good podcast. But they, we, they beat Chelsea, and I thought we'd be on for, he didn't, oh, I can't be bothered with him. Hmm. Waster. Um, but don't worry, we've got even better now. We'll be got... chairman soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Parish step aside. Um, so we've got Watch Kevin Kev, and you started. So you started at Tottenham. Yeah. So who was um, who was in your like youth team? When you started. Um, we had a pretty good youth team. Yeah. So it was class of '92. Funny enough, we ended up playing Man United in the semi final of the FA Youth Cup. All oh, right. Uh, and the other semi final was Crystal Palace Wimbledon. <laughs> so you got Tottenham. In, they oh. could have doctored it a bit. Yeah. Good, mate. <laughs> anyway, no, they we had Nicky Barmby, Sol yeah. Campbell, Darren Kasky. It was we had a. For the southeast and whatever, we had a good team, but yeah, yeah. we couldn't get near. No, they, that was they, they they done us five one over two legs, and we thought we were good. But yeah. They were, yeah, they done, they were, they were a bit special. Those boys. So was there a bit of like flash swagger if you got in the Tottenham youth team? Is that because you were saying, Kev? It was like, yeah, Kev, Kev, Kev was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kev, like, like what? Kev would say so. I, I was were you that... jealous though that they were at a good club then? <laughs> <laughs> no offense no. to QPR, he, but would, no, he no. would have fitted in well <laughs> in our group. Yeah, old chirp. You were a bit flash though, weren't you? Am I? A little bit, got no. a bit about you. You can, uh, yeah, but not flashing us. No, we had a we had a, were, we had a couple team. when we when we were in the youth team. There, there was already Kasky and Barmby, and they'd already signed two year professional forms yeah. before we'd even kicked a ball in the youth team. Oh really? So they were highly thought of, yeah. And they they were <laughs> good they players. were they were chirpy though, they Barmby good, and Kasky, but Kasky, they could back it up. They were good players. They, they had a really good team. With Neil Ruddock there as well. Yeah, Razor was there. <laughs> so he's yeah. in the first team. When you Razor the was team. in the first team. Yeah, it was all. It was like when I when I. Uh, Originally signed an apprenticeship. Uh, we got to the end. I was at that point. I don't know how it was. I was a goal scorer midfielder. Sort of played off the left. Got sixteen goals. Barmby, Kasky, uh, Sol, Jeff Minton, Danny Hill had already yeah, yeah. had already been oh, given nice. professional contracts, yeah. two year professional contracts. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to be fine here. You know, I've just just got sixteen goals in the yeah. year team. I'm cruising. Anyway, called me up to the office, and they just about offered me a year. Who like? 
well, Terry, yeah, the, Terry the, Venables. the club, yeah, the club and the, the youth team, and I'm like, really? Yeah, we don't take it if you don't want it. So I was almost like, well, I've got to. There's nowhere yeah. else I can go. I think Charlton were half interested at the time. So I went away, worked my socks off pre pre season at home, was running every day, come back. Within three weeks, I was in the first team squad in front of all the boys that had the two year contracts. And within a month, I was on the pre season tour and had a four year deal. Really? So I jumped over. Jumped over all of them, yeah, and made my debut before all of them in really? the September. So why did that happen? Do you think was it the extra work you put in? I, th- I think so, yeah. yeah. I think so. I went away and was determined to to come back and do well, and 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 that's how it that's how it panned out. And then unfortunately, I made five appearances, league and cup, and friendlies. When Gaza moved to Lazio, I played in that. When Naim moved to Zaragoza, I played in that home and away. So I played some really good yeah. friendlies as well. And unfortunately, Terry got the sack at the end of that season. And of course, I still had three years left. Yeah, Aussie come in, not really his cup of tea. Caskey jumped over me, and then I spent three years in the reserves and out on loan to yeah. to all the bees, Brentford, Barnet, Bris- Bristol City. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. So, but I wouldn't, but, I wouldn't have changed it because yeah. if I'd have left at nineteen or whatever it was, it would have been far too early. I had a really good grounding, yeah. education, playing reserve football, and I left at the right time. Yeah. Reserve football now, then compared to now, oh, it's, it's a massive it's, difference. Of course, it is. You, you, then you were you were going in a team with. The, the pros that are working their way back from injury, desperate yeah. to do well, etc. Young ones coming up, and it was a really good mix. Now, it's not just, worth. Not it's worth like a big youth academy, isn't it? It's, so it's, there's this, no tackling. There's so no tackling. It's when, when when you played in the in the mm. reserves, basically you played like our Tuesday, wasn't it? In a yeah. football combination, if you hadn't played in the first team on Saturday, everyone was expected, unless you're injured, expected you're playing in the reserves. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Now yeah. it's like it will until like last year it was under it was under twenty ones. The, the, I know managers would go up to like a pro, a senior pro. Do you want to play today? And they'll give it. Nah, nah. I'll just do a bit of extra training. Oh, no problem. Yeah, and just yeah. Yeah. leave them to it. Yeah, because they so have those, so much money. So now. those those There's lads, no, yeah. There's no those power. those lads who are playing like for the under twenty threes. Say that there was a game today. Those under twenty threes say it would be Charlton v Palace. They're really most of them are eighteen, nineteen. It's like yeah. a youth team game. If you're still playing for the under twenty threes and not out on loan, then you've got a bit of a problem. Yeah, yeah. You should not. be out on loan if you're uh, like a, yeah. a uh, Premiership Arsenal, club, yeah. an Arsenal, and you're playing and you're twenty, twenty one, playing in the under twenty threes. Well, you should be out on loan yeah. to like a, a League Two or League One club, yeah, or non League club. They'll to say get some stuff. Oh, Fabregas was in the first team at seventeen. You yeah. know, you but be... the personality of these young lads. That, well, they don't have no personalities, Kev, do they? It's, it's they're like, just, it's like they're like soldiers. Yeah, they've been exactly. drilled. They're, they're like they, they don't crack their face. They they get on the bus. They got the earphones on. They don't talk to each yeah. other. They play the game. They go home. Probably go on their Xbox or PlayStation. Yeah. They don't go out together. They don't mingle. They're literally it's all very indi- individuals. Yeah, I mean, when we, he was in the youth team, I was in the youth team reserves. You'd finish a reserve game. It could be 10 o'clock at night and you'd, yeah. you'd get yourself up London go and go for a night or, out or, or, go, to yeah. local, or, go, or yeah. go to the pub. Go to the Eden Boulevard on a Tuesday <laughs> night. Didn't Student but night. But it, right. it didn't affect us, <laughs> it? ain't affected us, has it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah, he's got no pubes, from, like, Other than that, I'm all right. He's broke his pubes. Well, I, f- I think they're just... <laughs> The vast amounts of money that are available yeah. now in the game, they see the they see the light at the end of the tunnel. Think I want to be there, and even when they get there now, professionals, you don't you don't see them hardly out there mingling together and team nights out and stuff like that. I see on Twitter the other day a, um, a night out that Wim, the Wimbledon team had um, yeah. twenty years ago, and it was every single player was there in the pub. Yeah, pints you couldn't even see the table, the wood, <laughs> <laughs> wine glasses and pint glasses. Yeah. And, you know that's it's how so it should money be. In it. And you're, 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 you're a manager, aren't you? Is it Bishop, Bishop Stalford? Stalford now. Yeah. yeah, Bishop so Stalford. What level's that, Bishop Stalford? That's the Southern Premier League. Yeah, yeah. So that's two below the conference. So what, what was um, Leverett? What was that, Jimmy? Yeah, was same, in? Is that the same, same league. Same yeah. level. Well, same level. Yeah. That's the Ryman Premier. So got, Ryman Premier and Southern Premier are the same level. Yeah. And so what, what are the players there like? Because obviously there's not as much money. Are they hungry for it? And do they um, socialise? Are they still a bit starry? Some of the well. Yeah, some of the things you see at that level, and Kev's, Kev's involved in it as well at, at that level, and his people, are just right? beyond belief, isn't it? It's really, it's really beyond belief what you see. I've had a text this morning. We we played last night. Yeah. The whole squad, no problems. See you Thursday for training. Get a text this morning from one of the young lads. Hi, Kev. Um, sorry, mate, can't play Saturday. I've got to attend a family wedding. So at the minute, that puts me down to thirteen players. <laughs> And, and also, what about, sh- they, they ain't knocked up a wedding in a week. What about this one? They would have known about What about this one? One of them's had three holidays since the start of the, since the, start of the lit, uh, season. What, since Is August? It? Yeah. Judith Chalmers. <laughs> hey, come up, come up to me Friday. We're playing last Saturday. Come up to me Friday, I'll okay, um, And this is one of my regular centre halves. Yeah. Very good. And they're paid. Uh, it's semi pro. So they're paid to yeah, play. Yeah, they're paid. They're paid, yeah. And some of them are paid okay for, yeah. for this level. Bear in mind, it's only three days a week. Yeah. 
So what would be an average salary? Average salary in my team would probably be £125 a week. And that's three days you want from a... Three days, yeah. yeah. Average. So yeah, so got, you get some a couple, maybe a few on got, a couple of hundred. Got or... a couple, well, two or three on 50 quid, a couple on a couple of hundred quid. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not it's yes. not bad, is it, to do something you love and no, exactly yeah. right. And they're just it was a whole new squad I put together in the summer because it took over five games before the end of last season when they were in the conference south and I went in and I think I threatened to quit after every game because they were just a team of mercenaries who were just picking up their dough, see you later tools. see you uh, later, down tools and yeah. I'm going mental they everyone. they didn't care. Yeah, they they're all gone. They've all gone. So you sacked Fuck all of them? Hell. They've yeah, gone. Absolutely <laughs> clear out. Clear so out. was there a point where you had no before you got the others in where you had like two Pre- players? Pre season I had no players. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually kept <laughs> turning up to friendlies. Like, well, no, 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 no. I, mean, I thought you was going to go no, one, no, no, two, no, no, no. Three. You went, uh, uh, no, at, no. The, at the end of last season, <laughs> the last game, I went, yeah, you're all chirpy on that WhatsApp group that you've got. I said, you won't be come the end of the season because none of you are going to be on it. <laughs> you, like, and are you, are you in the WhatsApp group? <laughs> yeah, not one of them. Not one so of them. So did you have to remove them? Yeah, well, some, the, the physio removed them. <laughs> the every, physio. every day, so and so has been removed. <laughs> so a list of about 20 names removed, gone. So, so I'm involved. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. So you think the club I sort of help out at Dunstable Town? Yeah. And my mate's the manager, and Tony knows him as well. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Kevin Watto knows him as well. His name's Tony McCall. And. Um, well, he had, he had, he, we've got no budget. <laughs> I can't can't it. We've got no budget. The pubic we've got, just we've, absolutely ruined We've got <laughs> no budget. So you've got no budget? We've, nothing. nothing. So they're paying 120, we're paying zero, not even in petrol the same money. In the same league, right? Yeah. So we had, um, a, we tried to get a centre forward who hasn't played for about a month and we needed him back for, for last night because we've got no players. Yeah. So uh, my, he sends me, are you available tonight? I'm not going to say his name. Yeah. I'll put you in the squad. So, no, t- sensor, yeah, yeah. No, Tony, I won't be able. Why not? I want to earn back my position and work on pointers you gave me to improve. So I have a training session to work on. So he wants to train on his own and be, in, be on the bench. Yeah, but we really need we really need you. Actually, I just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so he tried to he tried to and say he wants to train. No, I'm actually just doing, doing a training it. session instead of a game. He want yeah. So you just play the game. Exactly. The thing this is, this is what you're dealing with. The thing, <laughs> the thing is, Rob, we 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 play, we <laughs> play, we play Dunstable. Yeah. Kev, Kev and Tony's team yeah. two weeks ago. Yeah, I wasn't there. Kev, what Kev wasn't That's there. So Tony's were. there. Bear in mind, I knew Tony from Luton yeah. when Kev was there. Yeah. He was the analyst or whatever. So we've beaten five nil, and it was a yeah. cu- quite a comfy five nil. And I can see him, and he's going absolutely mental yeah. at the end, right? And he's walked on the pitch at the end, and he's saying to his players, "Look at him! Look at him!" Pointing to my skipper, "Look at him! You could wring his shirt out. You could wring his shirt. Can you wring yours out? No, you can't." And like, <laughs> I'm like, he's come across. He went. He went. What do you think? I went. They've actually had a go for you, mate. They've really had a run around. Mm. Unfortunately, if I was you, I'd just save your breath because sometimes they're just not good enough. Yeah, yeah. and that and that is yeah. lit- that is yeah. literally what. It, oh, thanks, thanks for that, mate. I went just save your breath because they're they're trying for you. Yeah, but they're, they're just not that they're level. Just, they're, they're also, just, as well, there's a reason why if you're in that league and you can go to somewhere, you can get a couple hundred quid a week and go there for nothing. You, gonna you, it, it, it's going to well, be what different was, levels. Um, Her- I'm telling you, I tell you, what's now, Hereford? Oh, about twelve grand a week, yeah. Yeah, twelve and grand a week. And we're on, we're in, in the same league. league. Yeah, yeah, we're on yeah they're in. They're in. So it's league, like yeah. Barnet. It was living in Hereford, yeah. though. Like, <laughs> yeah, unless you're a cow. Well, Billa Ricky, yeah. Billa Ricky, Ryan, and Premier, and, and you're talking thirty-two grand a week. Jeez. Is that is that's Glen that, Tampier? Yeah, that's the one that's all going. That's that mental now. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's he's in the lower lot. Was it was King of the Jungle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they top of the league then? Yeah. So they are they in your? They're not in your league. They're in the Ryman and Prem, which is the no, the same, it's the same, it's the same level. It's oh, so, same, so you, yeah, so you've got in, in the same level, no money, yeah. up against some of thirty-two because they've got like, um, what's it, Jamie O'Hara and they and all that. Jamie O'Hara, Penske, Pennant, Pennant, Jermaine Pennant. Oh my God! So, so we played a game last night. More asbos and goals. Look at the socks over those ankle tags. <laughs> right, so that competition who's more skint is, I think Dunstable was. Dunstable yeah, is more skint. You, You're I next. You, I think you're yeah. right. Oh, well, yeah. Gosport are closely Pot behind. Potless as well. Oh, well, okay. they've got a bit of money, though. Right, um, let's have a chat about Tottenham, the Tottenham team. And so what kind of character was there when you were there? Was it Ruddock, obviously. <sighs> yeah, Razor, when I first got into the first team, which was quite quickly after signing yeah. that new deal, he sort of became my, you know, mentor. guardian mentor, really? if you like. Oh, yeah. no. And that yeah. would mean, you know, taking the piss out of me doing things <laughs> making me do impressions for him 
at, it's great at, impressions. at the drop of a hat. What impressions so did like, he make you do? Oh, I can't remember now. Terry Wogan. <laughs> do you Terry Wogan? Right? Yeah, all right. Terry. You do Terry Wogan? No. <laughs> Stitching me up. Do you Terry Wogan? Do you Terry, come on, do you Terry Wogan? Oh, Terry Wogan that sounds like Alan Hansen. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Have you got an Alan Hansen? I always know he's brilliant on the ho- when he does the horses. When we were on the coach I'm on not, the way home, I'm Mick Harford not... used to get, come on, Watto, get on the microphone and do your horses commentating. And he no, was I blinded. I don't, I don't do it. Don't anymore. you do it anymore? Come on. Oh, oh, yeah, he's got to do that. You've got to be, he's got to oh, be in just the, do your Terry be... Wogan. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Wogan or Orson. I'll have a thing for you. I'll have a thing for you. Um, thing great for singer you. as well. I would say, what, what, have you got any stories about Razor? What you get um, up to? I think when we were kids, I think Gazza was the one that was. I was when we were in the youth. Oh, team. he dominated the, the... Oh, Dominated it. I mean, if he wasn't acting the goat every single minute of the day, you knew something was wrong. He must be ill <laughs> because there wasn't a day went past where he weren't messing around doing something. What and kind he, of stuff would he do? What, what didn't he do? One day, um, he came in and his dad had a camper van. And you know Mill Hill, you come in, you come in through the gates, you've got a car park where there's about a space for about seven cars. So all the Terry Venables, Ray Clements and all that part, their cars in there. Then you drove through a little opening, didn't you? Which had a height restriction thing. Yeah. <laughs> and he came in in his, in his dad's camper van one day. So it just about scraped through the top. Yeah, of this thing, it like took a little bit of the top of the of his camper van, get scratches or whatever. So there was a there was a lad there, John Coberman, that used to do everything. He was Gazza's Joey, <laughs> Gazza's Joey, Paul Stewart's Joey. He just used to do everything they asked him. You Would do- it be for money or did it just be no? Just, just because he loved him, he just was absolutely <laughs> starstruck. Or whatever, by Gazza, him. yeah. <laughs> so Gazza one day is like John. John, he says. Um, I've come through that height restriction thing. He said, "I think I've done a little bit of damage to the top of the to the top of Dad's camper van. Can you get up there and have a look?" Oh, so he climbs up a little ladder at the hell. side. Of the thing. <laughs> Gazza gets in the car, gets in the door, and starts airing around the the, the the car park with John hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Lads are pissing their selfies. Going, "Hang on, John, you'll be all right." <laughs> oh, oh yeah, just... and then one one day. Um, in my youth team, Ian Culverhouse, uh, Neil Young, who's Luke's brother who played oh, Spurs. Yeah. Neil had a good career, didn't he? Went to Bournemouth. To, it, they used to travel in with two others, Colin Kinnear and Kevin Jordan. In Culves, we called it the Golden Bullet. He had like a fiesta. I can't remember what reg it was, but it was gold. <laughs> right? So every day he used to come in there. So I've parked up one day in the, in the small car park, got out, and I can hear this, uh, hear this car come behind me. It's Gazza's Merc. At the time, top of the range, blacked out, black tires, and all that sort of sort of stuff. So I'm looking, looking around. All of a sudden, they've got out the car, the four of them. What are you doing in that? Well, Gazza comes in from the same way, doesn't he? We've stopped to get petrol. He's with Paul Stewart, and he said, "Come on, we we'll swap cars." <laughs> so, so all of a sudden, Cole, 19 years old, is in this top of the range Merc. With, with the lads shitting himself, driving into yeah. Mill Hill, driving about 20 mile an hour, don't want to scratch it or anything. I went, well, where is he? He went, I don't know, he left before us. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's no one there. All of a sudden, as we're talking, you can hear it coming up the road, right? <laughs> you can't see it, you can't see it, you can hear it. And he's probably in second gear doing about 80 miles an hour. <laughs> and brake skid into the tyres, smoking and everything. He's got out, <laughs> chucked the keys and Cole and went, I enjoyed that. I just kept, I just walked in. Walked in, walked in. <laughs> Cole was like, and like the, the oh. wheels were smoking. He drove up about eighty mile an hour, second gear, <laughs> in the car park one night. We come back from a game, um, and all the cars were at the training ground, parked up. And Kasky had his old man's big Sierra. He drove it in. <laughs> Gazza pulled up behind him, knowing it was his old man's car, and it was the first time he drove it. And you know the big fences, and they've got the, the metal poles to separate the different yeah. parts of the fences. So Cask's headlight was level with one of the with one of the uh, poles. Gazza gets in the car in his Merc, pulls up behind it just so he's touching it, and squeezes it <laughs> into <laughs> into the fence. <laughs> what a Smash! Light light's gone. Oh. Drove off. <laughs> Yeah. Off his ridiculous, Off especially his when you're young and you want to impress. And, and he's and it, not only and is he, he like you know doing ridiculous stuff, but he's sort of a, like the big dog there and well, the best it, player as yeah, well. Yeah, there was there were some big characters in that team. Big so who else was there? Was Gaza, Paul and Stewart, Paul Stewart, Paul Walsh, 
and what? Lineker in that team. <laughs> Stop touching me, Kev, in that way. <laughs> um, you know you can't do anything. You're like Henri with Carragher. Uh, putting your hand, yeah, yeah, putting yeah, your hand on his leg. Feeling how solid he is. <laughs> Getting on the weights, I'm telling you. <laughs> Absolutely working while you way through Nando's, mate. Protein off my nut. So hot in it. <laughs> was you was you a professional? Or was yeah, you a drink after a Thursday? Did you? <laughs> well, you, you got pissed in the club tracksuit, did you? That story. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no. You I'm, forgot you told I'm, that, didn't oh, you? Oh god. Uh, what not not the Luton one? Yeah, is that the Luton one? Yeah, come on. Was t- you there? T- 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 tell that one. Come well, on. Do you know we nearly, what? We nearly got sacked. I thought Mick was gonna. What happened? Mm. Is this allowed? Mick was the manager. At Mick Harford. Yeah, and I was. He was the assistant, coach. assistant first. So coach, it's yeah. just complete. So you were, you were the assistant manager. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. But, but but I'd only just made the transition. Like it was literally one day I was a player. Oh, okay. because of injuries, I packed up in. December. You'd have literally. Bad calves, hasn't he? Bad calves. calves. You've got bad calves? Yeah. His calves are too big. Literally. Like, literally what's wrong just, with your calves? It's just massive. I just, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the medical term. Yeah, yeah what's medical the problem? Yeah, they're just massive, so you can't play. The calves no are too big. You yeah, can't they can't get in the socks. <laughs> Gym pads don't fit. Yeah, so um, yeah, so yeah, we went yeah, on tour. So you're an assistant manager, go? and you're what? An We're old pro. How old yeah, are you at this I was about 34, 34, 35, 35, 35, 35. Earning a bit of coin, so, selling a few shirts in the club shop, banging in seven months <laughs> a season. We were <laughs> bang on. Where were we? Where were we? We were down in Barnstable. What was it? Barnstable. We were down in Barnstable. So what? Oh, middle of no. Yeah, middle of nowhere. So I don't. Nothing to do. I don't need. I don't. I don't need. Just made the transition. I don't need. Just made the transition from player to, to coach yeah. so me and him and Kev Nichols who yeah. is a bit Nutter. of a lunatic was he a player yeah, yeah. 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 but he's Kev, he's, he's, oh, he's, he's like yeah, he's what kind of stuff would he do oh, well there's something a little bit can't. there's something he's a little bit wrong when they go it's rated stuff <laughs> that what? putting a spider in his mouth for the whole day when he's for the whole the, day doing this were you there that time he's doing this and a spider there and he's calling it Terence oh. hi Terence <laughs> <laughs> the whole day doing this and then she would just go up to people and then yeah, keep just keep yeah, it in there, but yeah, it's yeah, still there. Yeah, and then and then when he had, he was injured at the time, so he's had it the whole day. And then when he was going home at like two o'clock, he took it out of his mouth, put it up oh, on the hell. wall, sellotaped its legs, and went, "See you tomorrow, Terence." <laughs> <laughs> That's like, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. we've heard well, like weirder stuff, but that's well, we definitely the most mad. Like, was, so we had the uh, we it was a Friday. We trained, and then we had, yeah, we had it was so boring down there. There was yeah. nothing to do. Well, and next door to the hotel. Originally, we just there was a pub, wasn't there? And yeah. there was a bit of sport on. So me. No, no, no. But the but before we were in the coffee shop. No, yeah, me. Yeah, but and we, we were pouring. We, no, no, no. We, no, no, no. That was in that was in the pub on the corner. <laughs> yeah. So we went to the pub on the corner and it started. Oh yeah. went, what, what shall we have? I went. Have well, let's just let's just have a coffee. Yeah. You're, so the, then, you're the manager. Yeah. yeah so the manager. So then, you're, you're a professional so then, now. So then Nico's with us, the, the lunatic. Mm. Terrence. He's had a coffee. Terence there or? Is yeah. No, ter- no Terence. I don't think he should have a coffee. Then then Kev's like, well, shall we have something in the coffee? Like. I was like, yeah, yeah, go on then. We'll have a drop of brandy in a coffee. So we had a drop of brandy in a coffee. At this point, Nico's going, no, I don't think you should. Don't even him. Even I'm, I'm not, saying, don't even think the don't, don't So you're playing him. the next day? Yeah. yeah. Well, he was. <laughs> I, I was all right. <laughs> I was all right. So then it become, well, there's, there's not much to do this afternoon. Mick, I it's unlike Mick, just wouldn't let no one out, would he? Yeah. You couldn't go out. The hotel was boring. There was, there was nothing, nothing around. And we was in a room like this room, me and Nico. It was the, Tiny we were, little like, the oldest pros and they put us... The young lads had like sweets and they put us up in the sky in this little yeah. robot they probably thought they're going to go and get and pissed we're, like, anyway. Doing this. Yeah. All right. So then I've got to get out of here. After the, after the coffee and then the coffee with the brandy, he's like, Shall we go for a walk around the town? I said, Yeah, let's go and have a walk around the town. So all of a sudden we walk and he's gone, oh, well, there's, 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 <laughs> yeah. there's a there's yeah. a weather there's a weather spoons <laughs> over there. So we've gone in the weather spoons, I went, What do you want? And we had a we had a pint, didn't we? Yeah. And then that pint, I went, What do you want? We can't keep drinking it? can't drink keep drinking beer, can we? Let's get a bottle of wine, about six quid for a bottle of wine. So we got a bottle of wine. Then all I of don't a sudden, drink wine, by then the all of a sudden there was that old couple. Oh, no. There was an old couple. So they've latched onto us. I'm sitting. He's, he's, he told me to change. He's and I'm sitting in his shorts, tracks I've, I've got jeans and a shirt, t-shirt. So you're in jeans and a t-shirt. Yeah, and you're in the tracksuit. Yeah. So and I'm, I said, go I'm, and get changed. I'm killing us because we're going to get it done yeah. here. I'm killing us at this point. Next so thing, next I thing start you know, Larry. It's, it's eleven o'clock <laughs> from three o'clock in the afternoon. You got changed? No. no. <laughs> it's eleven o'clock. We're sitting dinner. there. We missed dinner. We was on our fourth bottle. Fourth bottle. Of wine. We were bladdered. <laughs> anything. So, you know when you get anything's out the window. Uh, so, uh, Should I go back for dinner? Nah, don't. And then we. That. And then <laughs> we. They, they won't notice us. And then <laughs> the two <laughs> loudest people in the club. <laughs> <laughs> then we've said, then we've said to him, "Come and have a drink with us." And it's like, yeah. "Oh, we'll finish it. Couple. We'll finish yeah. this. We, we might." So we've walked back. We've tried to walk in a bit indiscreet, haven't we? Yeah. And Mick was 
They gone, was having, they was gone having dinner yeah, or something. Or no, no. What happened was, Brown. I said to the, the we said, oh, we're playing Exeter tomorrow. And I'll get, yeah, I'll get your tickets. I'll get your tickets. She's gone back early, right, from the pub. Gone the, in front. Where's those two Kevins? Are the two Kevins here? <laughs> they, they said we can have tickets. And, and the lads are like, you know, what? Yeah, they're up at the pub. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> stitched. Yeah, no, to have to get the tickets and absolutely stitched. Us. I've walked in. and So give, I walked in yeah, first yeah. and thought, was, got, I thought, sod this. I've dived straight up the stairs, up to bed. Thought, I'm, I'm staying out of this. He's gone in like blotto, would not you? Yeah. He's gone into where all the lads are just sitting having a diet coke and a drink. <laughs> but the directors were sitting in yeah, there but they? Uh, and having they have dinner. A first and they were team back, coach was there. And they he were said, ba- they know. Mick knows. And I went, oh, no. So I said... But then Mick come back, didn't I he? went, I'm waiting for Mick. Because I ain't going to bed like thinking, it, waiting more. I won't get no sleep. So I'm just going to get it out in the open. And... Yeah, he was. You had a rad, and, and you went. Don't matter how much I drink, I will still be the best player tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, and then I went in the next day and said sorry again. He put me on the bench. Yeah. Oh my god, I was rotten. I'm like, please don't get me on, please yeah. don't. Yeah. No, but he made and me he, run up and down after called, the game, box to box. He, he, I was he called, absolutely he ruined. In, he called me in the next morning. And was like, what? Are you killing me? You're killing me. They're like going, what's going on? And so I was like, look, it's it's not usually what I do, but you know, it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing Boring. to do. He's like, yeah, but you can't, you can't do that now. You're the, s- you're the other, you're, you're, you're the other yeah. side of the fence. Why did you wear your tracksuit, you know. idiot? I liked, it. I liked it. Could Why have got away with it. Decent gear, decent gear. Steaming. <laughs> what but you yeah, do? It, was, it all goes out the window. The two Kevin's. It was, <laughs> the two Kevin's. Two Kevin's here. The lads are like, what? The two Kevin's tickets out to everyone. Oh my god. What didn't Gaz do something with squirrels? Yes, he did. Um, oh, that God. that was quite a funny one. Well, he did um, put it in his mouth all day, then. <laughs> we had a little mad uh, up at Mill Hill again. Kev's been there. You got you know, yeah. the main house, and then at the end you had the little canteen. You'd go in there, little bit of breakfast before training, and a couple of rolls afterwards. That is all you'd get then. It was yeah. none of this protein shakes and all the right stuff you should eat. That is what it was: two cheese rolls, two ham rolls, whatever. So it had got changed one day, probably half one. Everyone's going home and. Sue, bless her, who's, who's no longer with us, was frying bread out, and the squirrels were, were coming to eat the squirrels. Sue, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just, I'm just feeding them. That's vermin. Shouldn't be anywhere around the place. Shouldn't be anywhere around food. Now come on, guys. I like, I do it every day. They're not hurting. Yeah, they are hurting. Full of, full of vermin. Full of disease. She was like, no, don't be silly. He went, if they're here tomorrow and you're doing that tomorrow, I'm going to shoot them. Right, so <laughs> is he having a laugh of her, or he's well, just serious? hang on. So the next day, or a couple of days later, he's, he's stayed behind again at training, and uh, Sue's out there frying the bread. What did I tell you? He's gone back in the dressing room, air rifle, and he's shooting at them as they're running up, <laughs> running out the training ground with an air rifle. What is he over there? Oh, he's just trying to kill him. <laughs> he's just trying to shoot. <laughs> Because they're, they're vermin, that's why. Does he really think they're vermin? He's doing it for a laugh. Because you don't know. He's not. You don't yeah. ask. Well, he went when he went up to Rangers. He was bored, wasn't he? And he was yeah. in a real plush hotel, or whatever. So he took his fishing rod and started fishing in the ornamental pond in the the hotel, <laughs> trying to catch koi carp. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have to ask him. Paul Mercer when he's on that story where when they was at Middlesbrough together, yeah. they used to have. They would gamble all the time, but they used to both take sleeping tablets yeah. and bet who would fall asleep first. <laughs> yeah, and whoever was left up, that was it. Yeah. Um, Andy Townsend as well, wasn't it? Andy Townsend, Merce and Gazza, I think it was. And they used to uh, red wine and sleeping tablets. And whoever's left awake takes the money off the table and it's theirs. <laughs> What, what a game! game. What a game! Yeah. The whole of the <laughs> and in the worst case scenario, you have a nice sleep. And, uh, yeah. You don't wake up one day, I guess, when you're doing that. Yeah, keep, well, yeah don't, just don't just don't go overboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, uh, decent enough. Um, also, Pardew gets a lot of stick on this uh, podcast, Manny from Bullard. But um, you what, you played for him, didn't you? I did play for. What Pards. was he like to play for? Pards was Pardo Bardo. Yeah, Pardelli. Chocolada. <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. He's very much. You love him or you hate him. And I actually, I thought he was. I, no, I, actually, that, I actually, I actually, I actually loved him because he was very honest. There was, there was no grey area with Pards. If he said you weren't playing and you went in to see him, he'd tell you why you weren't yeah. playing. Um, and you, you knew where you stood with him. He, he comes across very up himself and flash, and yeah. he is. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is, but he's he, open about he, it. He, he is, yeah. He's, you know, um, but. Did he I'd, get involved with the lads on nights out and things like that? Uh, not, no, not really. No, he was, he was just in his, 
infant stage really as a manager at Reading. Yeah, well. But he, he, he was he was really good. He was really good. Um, but he used to he used to have a pop at players. I remember we signed Scotty Murray, who was a good player, wasn't he, at Bristol City? Yeah, well, scored yeah. twenty odd goals one season. Mind you, he had Brian Tinian, who was an unbelievable midfielder, feeding him all the time. And Scotty come to us for about three hundred grand, and we were doing a shooting practice one day. And Scotty weren't the best with his left foot, and the ball kept going on his left foot, and it was it was going everywhere. And parts were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop there! Stop there! Stop there! What are you doing?" And and the Scotty's like, "What?" He went, "You carry on like that, mate." He went, "You're going back where you came from." <laughs> Two months later, he's back at Bristol City. Really? Sold, sold back, yeah, sold back. Oh, I've seen him stop a stop a session and go, "Why well, you can't play? You can't do that. You can't do that. You won't be going where I'm going, mate." This was when we was at Reading and was like, "Where are you going, Gaffer?" <laughs> I'm, I'm going to Premier League. I'm going to Premier League. And he did. Uh, yeah, to be fair, yeah, he yeah, did. yeah, yeah. He, he, backed, backed he backed it up. It up yeah. He backed it up. The stacky one I listened to reminded me of a um, couple of goalkeepers that I've played with. Kev, Kev, they're not right, are they? Keepers? Kev, they're not. They're not wide correctly. No, if you're if you're too nice as a keeper, it means you're going to be shit. Isn't <laughs> it? Much, yeah. You've you got to be a nutty goalie. You 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 got, got, you're getting balls fired at you in training yeah. for like seven yards. Yeah. Into so the balls and all that. Two <laughs> two <laughs> pubes wouldn't take it, would it? Pubic bone. <laughs> pubic bone would be it's dead. Poor little <laughs> stacky pubic bone <laughs> hanging around his ankles. <laughs> Philip Pram, son. <laughs> the two I remember, the two I remember the most are Mike Pollitt, who's now the assistant manager at Rotherham with Warren, Paul Warren. They were both teammates of mine, but Polly was again, yeah, not not completely all there. So <laughs> we used to if we used to get a good result under Ronnie Moore at Rotherham. We'd be on the bus on the way back from wherever. Um, and he'd send John Brecken down. What do the lads fancy a night out Tuesday? And it's just because Breck and Ronnie wanted a night out oh. and get away from the missus or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. All right. And invariably it was Sheffield Dogs followed by a night out in the local club, which was a bit of a shithole in Sheffield, the yeah. Leadmill. So anyway, this one particular night, we've gone to the Dogs and the lads are at the Dogs, and me and Polly somehow just ended up drinking at the bar. And he's like, "Shall we go early?" There's like. Only a couple of races left. We'll get in there early. I said, "Yeah, all right, then we'll go down there." So we get in the cab, jump in the cab down to the lead mill. So there's literally at ten o'clock at night. It was student night. Yeah. There's no one else in nah. there. There's hardly anyone else in there. There's a few women over there or whatever, and we're at a bar. So he goes, "What do you want?" So I just a pint or whatever. So we're standing drinking a pint. All of a sudden, puts the pint down, and he's off. I'm like, where's he going? He has slid along the dance floor on the the shiny floor, right. Three birds talking in a circle, bags on the floor with her. He slid, and at the top of his voice, keepers! Slid, took the took the, the bag in, <laughs> stood up, and bowled it back across the dance floor towards me. I'm like, what's he doing? What is he doing? And then geezer just come up to him and went, you've had enough, mate. See you later. So I'm then standing there on me. I'm like, it's like he wanted to get chucked out. Yeah. Something just went in his mind. Keeper I'm, just grabbed the keepers. bag and threw it across the floor. Yeah, and picked it up and like bowled it like he's throwing it but out no to a fullback. Him on or dared him to I'm do just, it. It's, just, just it's only me and him in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there's no point because there's no reaction. You're just going... It's... I'm like, what are you doing? Like, the lads are not going to be here for another half hour. I'm standing At least wait and do it in front of all the lads yeah, exactly, if you yeah. want to make a... Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's what I mean. He's not right. Yeah, no. Is there any, any other ones, any other stories? I've got one more. I yeah, think, go for it. Yeah, well, I, think, yeah, it's I think that's all right. So Definitely. we had a car school at Colchester um, because I should have moved, but I didn't. So I, when I left Reading, <laughs> I was travelling from Reading to Colchester, which was over two hours every day. Oh, but brutal. there was a little car school on the way. I used to pick up Carl Duguid, Jamie Cure, and Johnny Jackson, who's now um, captain at Charlton, yeah. etc. Anyway, the, this one particular day, me, Doogie, and Jamie Curran were travelling back. And Dukes used to, we used to leave our car at South Mims. Dukes used to carry on, and me and Cure, I used to head back to Reading. Anyway, this one particular day, the, the traffic was horrendous. Just coming past Potter's Bar, stop, start, stop, start, and then all of a sudden we've just we've just stopped. So Kuro's giving it to us a little bit in the back. Oh, I wouldn't have come this way, not this time of day, giving it that one. Come, must be another way, and he's like having a tear up. Dukes has just looked at me, and I've gone, yeah, come on. So we've opened the doors on the, the motorway. We're not hardly moving. Got in the back, give him a few few digs. <laughs> Got back in the car. So oh, he's like, We've, we've done him up a little bit by this time we've, we've started moving again yeah. drop him off it's all a big laugh and a joke me and Kuro go home 8 o'clock that night I'm at home sitting with a, the, my wife at the time the phone rings hello what oh yeah it's Dukes hello mate he said uh, you're not going to believe this I went what he went I was sitting there having me dinner tonight he went 
and I had a knock on the door. I went, right. He said, and there's two officers standing there. I went, go on. He went, and they said, you, Mr. Dugood, whatever, yeah, this your car, Edge. Yeah, that's me. Um, there's been an allegation made <laughs> against you. He went, what? And he, he said, I started laughing at him. And they went, Mr. Dugood, this isn't funny. There's been an allegation made this afternoon that on the M25, two people got out the front of your car and started beating up an old lady in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Kira is an old, is an old lady. <laughs> I mean, he, he was—he's forty-two now, but he was only thirty at the time. But he's only little, and he yeah. had the, like the little curly. Yeah, yeah. Curly I, I, I went, what? I went, he went. He said, I started laughing and went, nah, mate. Listen, this is what it is, and yeah. that was. And they were like, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to have to do a few more investigations into it. So I went, just ring Kira. So we're trying to ring Kira. Yeah. Can't get hold of him. They've come back half hour later and said, no, the, the person is convinced that you, the two of you, you, you and an accomplice, have got out, got out and were beating this old lady up in the back. And in, in the end, I, I just, I was like, you are kidding me. And I'm telling the, telling the wife yeah. and she's like, what? I went, I can assure you it weren't, it was Kuro. <laughs> it weren't an old lady, it was Kuro because she started off believing it as well. Anyway, Kuro finally rings the fo- picks the phone up to us and we're like, you've got, you've got to ring Hertfordshire Police. And to sort this out, <laughs> so he actually rung them laughing and and sorted it out. But when dudes <laughs> rang me, yeah, two of you beating up a, an old girl in the back of a. Back, back I'll make sure car. I don't give Jimmy back a slap car. in the eye street. <laughs> <laughs> Beckett attacks old woman. Um, we go. Oh, thanks so much, mate. It's good, uh, good to chat. I enjoyed that. And Kev Gallon, thanks for stepping in. Um, right, we have to. Well, we have to put comments on iTunes. I oh, don't give a fuck. See you later. <laughs> I don't know if I start begging for it like it or don't. <laughs> Cheers, lads. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>